This is me, about to shake hands with my brother who's wearing a 50,000 volt taser glove. And I built this glove in an attempt to replicate the supercharged bioelectrical powers of Miles Morales. So today, we're gonna take a look at some of the coolest electrical gadgets that Amazon has to offer and build three inventions that give me electrical superpowers. Step one, figure out how to not get electrocuted. Cause this isn't necessarily my type of build. All of my biggest projects so far have been pretty much entirely mechanical. And to be honest with you guys, that's just cause it's a lot easier. When I can see everything that's happening, it's so much easier to see my problems, make predictions, and confirm my suspicions. But this mechanical mindset has really limited the types of projects I'm willing to work on. And with Across the Spider-Verse coming out, kind of just set my sights on another addition to the mechanical web shooter series. But Miles Morales isn't like all the other Spider-Man. No, Miles Morales has the amazing ability to control his body's natural bioelectricity. This was it, the perfect opportunity to break out of my mechanical mold and explore the interestingly unpredictable world of electricity. Now at first, I kind of just wanted to ease myself into it, maybe light up a few 2 volt LEDs, but that was like, safe? So I bought a 50,000 volt stun gun. Now before you see my stun gloves in action, let me show you how they work. On all the fingers, there are a bunch of metal panels that are all wired up to the two electrodes on the stun gun. The wiring pattern goes positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, which allows arcs to travel across every other finger. All of these electrical panels have been attached to a rubber work glove, which is really important for insulating me from the shock. But even that isn't enough, because high voltages like these can break those conventional rules, so I'll be wearing another full rubber glove underneath. This may sound like overkill, but need I remind you, we're working with 50,000 volts, and voltages like that allow electricity to do some spectacular things. The type of electricity we're talking about is current, which are the electrons that are flowing through the circuit. And the electrons are only able to flow because there's a voltage pushing them. But we have a problem. There's a break in the wire. And the only thing between that gap is air. Up until now, the electrons have been able to freely flow through the circuit because the copper wire is a conductor. But the air has a lot of electrical resistance, making it an insulator. Now, how would you get the electrons across? You could complete the gap with another conductor. You could fill the gap with a different fluid more conductive than air. Or you could send about 50,000 volts into the circuit and force the electrons through the resistance because 50,000 volts doesn't really care if you're an insulator. But it's still pretty hard to just force electrons through air, so as you'll see in our first test, it'll happily pass through anything with less resistance, like skin. Alright, we're starting. Go ahead, push the button down. Now it's on! Now when I touch it... Can I count it, down? No! Alright, grab my arm. Go, go! Do it quickly! But don't like that! <laughs> go, 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 go! Go, just do it, just do it! Like that, alright? Go through it. Bro. There's no way. <laughs> this next invention is unlike anything that I've ever seen because apparently with these two panels I can electrically control someone's movements. Before we learn how that works we got to figure out how you work specifically your muscles. Isn't it crazy that the second you think about moving your arm it just moves? Like just imagine how fast the signals have to be traveling from your brain down your nervous system into each individual muscle 128 miles per hour. And though it's true that signal starts at your brain it's not that electrical impulse that actually makes it all the way to your muscles. Our nervous system is able to generate its own electricity using chemicals in the body, which allow us to repeat one single low voltage signal from our brain all the way to our muscles. But what happens if that signal comes from somewhere else? This is the TENS unit. You stick these conductive pads on your arm and it sends a current between the two by traveling through your skin. During that process, it can electrically stimulate some of the nerves in your arm, causing nearby muscles to contract. It's doing it by itself. Oh. Now if those conductive pads just happen to be on the palm of a glove, and you just so happen to grab somebody's arm while wearing said glove. All right, are you ready? Well, you press like this, and whatever muscles it's in contact with, it's like. Ah, I feel it. Ah, it's not that bad. Ah, ah, oh, the finger is moving. I'm not moving my hand. Oh. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> uh, let's do let's do my bicep. I want to see what happens. All right. Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> Go. Ah. Ow. It's not even doing anything. It just hurts. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> 
Okay, I gotta say, I'm excited for this last invention. How could I not be? It's a freaking lightning gun! Or by its more scientific name, the Tesla coil. Now, my feeble attempt to try and understand this thing kind of just resulted in, hmm, oh, wow, okay, magic. But when researching it, I learned that scientists hate magic and like to explain it using alternating current, resonant circuits, magnetic fields. I also learned that scientists like to be overly complicated. So as confusing as Tesla coils are, I think I can now explain them using a playground classic, the swing set. Let's say we have a swing and a person to push the swing. A swing is a form of pendulum, and if we apply force to it, it'll start moving. More importantly, it'll continue to move at a constant frequency even if we're not applying force to it. But if we continue to apply force at just the right moments, then the swing will go higher and higher and higher. I'm not applying any greater and greater force, I'm just continuously applying the same force at the right times. The Tesla coil achieves its super high voltages in a similar way. Let's say we have a large coil of copper wire, a smaller coil of copper wire, and some circuitry to tell it what to do. The circuit is going to send some current through the smaller coil coil of wire. When a current is flowing through a wire, it'll create a weak magnetic field. But since this wire is coiled, it's going to be amplified. Now if we put our larger coil inside the magnetic field of the smaller one, something familiar is going to start to happen. The magnetic field of the smaller coil is going to start another magnetic field in the larger coil. But since there's so much more wire in the larger coil, that magnetic field is going to continue to oscillate on its own even if the smaller coil stops running. Now if we continue to turn the smaller coil off and on, we'll be continuously boosting the larger coil at the right moments, and the magnetic field will grow bigger and bigger and bigger, just like the swing set. Now this gigantic magnetic field creates a lot of energy in the larger coil. And like we said earlier, if the electrons have enough energy, they'll just shoot out into the air. But they'd really rather shoot through a conductor with less resistance. Which is good news for me, because if I build an arm mount, strap the Tesla coil to my arm, and connect a wire that runs out to my palm, I can essentially shoot lightning from my hands. Now I suppose it's really no fun unless I shoot myself with it, but as you may have guessed, it really doesn't hurt at all. The electrons shooting in the air right now have a lot of energy because they need a lot of energy to be able to do that, but it's really not a lot of them. So the electrons may be hitting me really fast, but they're also really small, so they can't do that much lasting damage. But with that, all three of my inventions are finally done. Just in time too, because in the background, me and my friends were planning on watching Across the Spider-Verse the day it premieres. But I may have neglected to tell them about a few surprises I'm bringing along with me. But before we get into that, I have a couple surprises for you. We've gone through a lot of science and engineering today, and if you've made it this far, I'm sure a few of you are probably interested in making cool gadgets like this yourself. If that's the case, then me and PCBWare are teaming up to help you out. I build pretty much all of my inventions with hand tools, because for a while that was just the most accessible thing to use. But as projects become more advanced, I begin to run into more costly mistakes and unexpected accidents. So I was thrilled to learn about PCBWare's manufacturing services. I'm assuming most of us don't have a big workshop, but PCB Way still allows us to get high quality parts made to our exact specifications. Next time you come up with a project idea, send PCB Way 3D models of the parts that you need and they'll help you get it CNC milled, 3D printed, sheet metal fabricated, injection molded, and over a hundred different materials with over 50 surface finishes. And for those of you working on more electrical projects, PCB Way specializes in their custom PCBs. PCBs are these printable circuit boards that you can customize to have different shapes and different flexibilities, allowing you to keep your projects a lot simpler. And if you guys are working on any nonprofit projects, PCBWay is even willing to sponsor your inventions if you reach out to them using the rules below. I'm really happy PCBWay reached out because if you guys are looking to make projects like this, this is the perfect opportunity. You can go check out these special offers using the link I left in the description. And thanks PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Now let's go see what my friends think of my newly electrified enhancements. I gotta insulate myself, especially on this one because I was testing this morning and I had it jump through my entire hand and up to my wrist. What? <laughs> Why are you all the way back? <laughs> do I get, do I get, do I get? What if I give it a high five? High five? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> do you want to? No, that's Go, how, how bad is it? It's Taylor. Right. Oh, no, Spider Man? It's my uncle. Is it really Spider Man? Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Great to meet you, Spider Man. Great to meet you. Sean, you Are you sure? Does it hurt? I don't know. He'll be fine. Nice to meet you. <laughs> That's why I didn't do it. So I'm turning off the taser, discharge. You turned right. off the so taser? Now it's safe, we're safe. Oh, so now I'm turning on the tens unit. Can you do like that, 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 that thing? Just like, eh, and just like shock me? I can't. So right now it's, <laughs> right now it's, eh. That's not bad though, it's like. It's not? Yeah, it's pretty good. No, it's like, you get like, go. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? You gotta test if you fit real tight. What? You gotta test if you fit real tight. Yeah. It's loose, it's gonna hurt. Yeah. Ready? Mm. 
tight, real tight. I'm doing the wrist, all right? All right. Come on. All right. <laughs> Yo, I can feel it. Yeah, right, a little bit. Oh, like no. it. Like, let the, let the camera get some. <laughs> one second later, one second later. Let me get some. Let me get some. Let me get it. Okay, let's be honest. I did an okay job replicating Miles' powers, but why didn't I just go for the full thing? What would I have to do to say that I replicated the electrical powers of Miles Morales? When I first came up with the idea for this video, I was set out on creating something that allows me to shoot gigantic lightning bolts from my hands, deliver devastatingly high voltage punches, and charge up massive energy blasts, all in an attempt to replicate bioelectricity. But it turns out we can already do that. Not shoot giant lightning bolts out of our hands, of course, but our body uses self-generated electricity all the time and we've gotten really good at it but our bodies are not so good at regulating random jolts of electricity stronger than anything we've ever grown custom to enduring and then being able to channel that high voltage electricity back out into the environment through our electrically resistant skin at least we can't do that and live so if humans like us wanted to throw some high voltage haymakers, we have to take inspiration from the masters of weaponizing their own electricity, the electric eel. Electric eels have some special organs that create charge by taking positive and negative ions in the body and forcing them to stay away from each other. Then if you stack up all those organs like a battery and release all the charges at once, electric eels can send nearly an 860 volt shock into the surrounding wildlife, which might even kill a human. Now if we wanted to do this for ourselves, we would need something similar. I'm gonna use this scene from the new Spider-Man game because it's awesome. And it shows us that Miles is shooting lightning roughly six feet to this unfortunate goon. Now, 75,000 volts will allow electricity to travel just about one inch, which is a little bit more than our taser. A six foot arc would require 5,400,000 volts of electricity. That guy should have been reduced to ash. We wouldn't even get close to producing those voltages, even if 80% of our body were just electric organs. But for the sake of experimentation, let's say we manage. Now we don't just want 5 million volts of residual electricity just chilling next to our vital organs. So we'll need some special tissue to insulate our organs. We'll also need some exterior tissue to insulate our skin. But now the electricity won't be able to leave our body. So finally, we'll need some special external tissue on our hands to allow us to release high voltage electricity into the environment. And only then, with 100 extra pounds of electrical organs and multiple layers of insulative skin, could you now say that I replicated the electrical powers of Miles Morales. But you know what? I'm good. I think for my first real electrical project, this has gone pretty well. Three high voltage inventions and no casualties. Despite that, I think I'll stick with my smaller electrical pulses that allow me to move my arm, grab my mouse, and end this recording.